Hi there, and welcome to the second Hardpoint Editor video. I'm Luke, and since the last video there's been plenty of updates. The Hardpoint Editor is now at a stage where we can use it. We can load and save ships straight from the interface. So, I'm going to go over three things with you today. Secondary hulls, visual illuminators, and we're also going to look at some working ship components. Any of you Eagle Eye viewers out there will see that there's a Defiant dock to our Excelsior. Now that's pretty cool, so let me show you how we've done that. So we can see here in the Hardpoint Editor, we've got, um, we've got a new secondary hull class in the Hardpoint systems. Now, this is a way to add, to attach extra structures to your ship. So for this, for this instance, I've, I've obviously just added a Defiant, but we can see this being more useful for adding, for instance, the Nebulous Sensor Pod, or the Danube's Weapons Pod, and things like that. Things that aren't really on every ship, but you might want to add to a, a specific instance. So, this would also be great for modders, as it means that you guys will be able to create your own nacelles and your own saucers, and just kind of mash them together. Which is, which is always fun. And the best thing is, uh, it behaves exactly like a primary hull, so you can even give it its own features and its own properties. So you might want, for instance, the nebula's sensor pod to explode upon contact or something. Um, you can do that, the engine supports it. Cool thing as well is once we leave the hardpoint editor, the physics are recomputed, um, sorry, the physics are recomputed instantly. So what I mean by that is if you were to add a huge bulk to the back of your ship, your centre of mass would move and your ship's handling would change. Likewise, if you were to add, if you were to just duplicate this and create a huge Excelsior made out of little Excelsiors, the handling would, your ship probably wouldn't move. So it's something to be, to be cautious of, that you don't design something that is just simply unflyable. A better way that I can probably demonstrate how we can use secondary hulls is if I load up this this is Matthew Hooker's um, doing we can go into the hardpoint editor add a secondary hull And in visual, we can link to uh, yes, we can link to an existing mesh. So, if you watch this box, as soon as I click apply. You can see now that we've added a secondary hull in terms of this weapons pod here. You can see from here we'll be able to assign its own hard points and its own components. So, moving on, I'll just give you a little update on the hard point components. In the last video, I uh, briefly mentioned that they weren't actually wired in and working yet. Uh, but the good news is that now they are. So you can see here in the hardpoint editor, we now actually have them showing up. And if I was to delete my impulse engines, like this, and exit the hardpoint editor, and you can see now when I press um, increase speed, nothing's actually happening. Uh, so that means that the hard points are actually doing things now. They're actually wired into the game logic. One of the last things uh, I want to run through with you is the ability that we now have to independently change the brightness of different parts of the ship. So you can see here, as an example, we have two nacelles, uh, both flashing, uh, both flickering at different rates uh, and at different brightnesses. Uh, different levels of power. Um, so let me explain. When we texture the ship, 
we texture it as though the power is off. So we texture everything as if there is no sort of light coming from the ship at all. So you can see here that the windows uh, are all powered down, the buzzards, and the nacelles are off. And what happens is, is we create an illumination map which gets overlaid on the top of the base texture. And this illumination map is what gives us the power and the colour in the buzzards and the nacelles and you can see the windows are now lighting up blue. And what happens is we now have a way to pick a certain part of the illumination map and turn it on and off as we want. And the way we can do this is with in the hard point editor we can do this with a um, it's called a visual illuminator and I'll make this sh uh, sh there we go so you can see here on the uh, on the starboard nacelle we've just covered we've put a um, a volume box around the uh, nacelle and you can see here that all that will be doing is referencing that part of the illumination map uh, which is just a 2D texture like anything else uh, and it'll just be turning it on and off. So by turning it on and off it'll just be overlaying more and less of that illumination map over the base texture. Uh, but the way this works is it's expandable to to as much as you want. So what I mean by that is we could go over every single window on the ship and add a visual illuminator to it so that when certain parts of life support get damaged or certain decks get damaged we can turn off the lights to all the decks, sorry, to that specific deck. Um, we, we even joked in the uh, dev forum about having a cutscene where, uh, for instance, the commander goes to sleep and we can see him switch off his light and the shot shows the light turning off from the outside as the camera zooms back. Um, so yeah, spoiler alert there, but but the point is it's it's as expandable as you want. We can... We can then, or we will be able to link these up to hard points. So if you see, um, sorry, if you look at that impulse engine there, when that gets damaged, we'll be able to trigger the visual illuminator around it, the volume box. We'll be able to trigger that to flash and to eventually just fade out to nothing when the engine is uh, finally destroyed. So, yeah, so overall, it's just a really handy way of controlling uh, independently from each other different. Uh, different brightness levels of things on the ship. So I hope that made sense. Um, I'm, I'm in a rush so I apologise for that. Um, that's it for this week really. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Um, cheers.